on the corner. I'm posted on the corner. You posted on the corner with your Australia Incognito. And DJ Mrs. DJ Mrs. Ooh wee. I'm going to take you back when I was 16. Uh-huh. With a bankroll. Okay. Mm. Posted on the corner like a light pole. For mm. real, for real. The trapper of the year, ball of the century is here. Young Jesus! What up, though? What up, though? Not Snowman! Later. What's happening? What's happening? Hey, man, this album, Snowfall. Yeah. Snowfall dropping today. Excited, baby. Warming the streets back up, you know Ooh, what I'm saying? I'm ready. Back at it, man. Yeah. For a minute, I was nervous a few years ago when you dropped Trey. Right. They was like, this the last one, this the yeah, last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what it, what it was was, you know, I had to get on my grind, bro. It was a lot of other stuff I wanted to do. Mm. So I had, I, you know, I had to get to it. And, um, you know, music was, it, it just played a back seat for a second because I had to set myself up for my next 10, 15 years. You feel what I'm saying? I know but right. I still love it, though. Yes, sir. It's yeah. like, like Floyd Mayweather. You like, one thing about it. Even if he don't box, you know, a whole year straight, he still got hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they don't go nowhere. Right. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> so how was it getting back in the studio with drama? What was that feeling like? Uh, it was it was definitely um, therapeutic. It was something that needed to happen. Mm. Um, you know, just based on where we both are in our career right now, it just was like, it was a vibe. It was just like, you know, everybody happy, everybody good, mm -hmm. you know, everybody eating. Right. So it, this this ain't about the paper. This is about something that we want to do together. Mm -hmm. And um, we just did a B-side show and going back and going through all those records. Um, it was it, it was dope because it's like you see the history in it. You know what I'm saying? You hear about the times that it, this happened or the times that that happened. And it got real like, you know, for a minute it was like, it was like therapy. It was like, damn, look at where we at and look at where we came from. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it was definitely it, it was definitely good. What was the first record that you recorded for the Snowfall project? Uh, Snowfall, which is the intro. Okay. Yeah, Snowfall for the intro, and I can tell y'all though, I can tell y'all the concept of it now. So it's, since it's coming out already, You're right? So the whole concept of Snowfall was, you know, winter time is the only time that snowfall. Come on. Meaning that it's snowman forever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It'll never happen. He ain't never falling off. And, and that was the concept. But when I did the first song, I'm just like, yo. Like, this is how I feel, bro. And and he was like, uh, Don Cannon was like, let's go. And everything after that had to do with, you know, why I'm supposed to be here and why I ain't going nowhere. Come on now. You know, and and what, I, what I don't care about no more. Like, it's a record called Street Credit, and it's just like, that ain't it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We talking real credit. Yeah. Sure. Line of credit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Being able to go get anything you need to get because you have that type of credit. Um, it, was, it was records like uh, uh, My Accountant. You know what I mean? Like my account lit. Period. I don't think yeah, he lit. <laughs> <laughs> he like when you call. I know that's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He lit. Uh, it was records like um, um, let me see, man. It's, it's most hated. You know, I feel that way sometimes, but they ain't stopping nothing. Mm -hmm. You know Just what I'm saying? Yeah. Too. You know, it's records like. <laughs> Put the minks down, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's that's it. <laughs> yeah, got four two Doug on that one yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Put the minks down, baby. You know what I mean? As as uh, records like Scarface, yeah. with uh um, with uh, uh ESTG. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it's that. You know, it's it's it's, it's elevated street music. Yeah, it's right. sophisticated thugging. Yeah, right. okay. <laughs> you feel it. me? Yeah. Still motivated too. Yeah. yeah. That's so how did you and ESTG uh link up? Uh, shout out to Nigel and my man Chop. Um, Nigel, somebody who's worked with ESTG, and uh, we had been, you know, kind of like, um, you know, just in the same places. Mm. And he's like, "Yo, man, I really want to plug you and G." And um, um, they, you know, they put us in the studio together, and we just, you know, chopped it up immediately. I was like, "Okay, I get it." You know what I'm saying? And uh, he he brought me the the record, the realest. For his album. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm saying? And 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 we did that and yeah. we just chopped it up and it's just like G a real one. I I, I I like how he move, I like what he about, yeah. I like what he stand for, and, and I really like his music. You That's know what I'm saying? True. Yeah. So you being a legend in this game, like what's keeping Jeezy going? I mean the people to love. It's like when you out and people give you love and you know, they, they appreciate what you do. You know, that one thing you can do better than anybody else mm. in your mind and people appreciate that you know mm. what i'm saying and it's just like you know anything you do if you if 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 you appreciate it for something that you care about like i care about motivating people right i care about inspiring people i, I care about those things like that's something that that's what they say that's my love language <laughs> you know True. what i'm saying so it's just like 
it matters. So to be out and people like, yo, man, you know, young and old, man, you know, you have no idea what you did for me or, for or the decision I started, I made because I saw you make a decision mm-hmm. um, and you stood on it. You know what I'm saying? And, and and you didn't let people waver you. And for me, it was just like, damn, like, this is what it's about. You know, and it ain't, you know, words of affirmation of everything. Yeah. Right. But at the same time, when it comes from people who appreciate you, it means that much more. Definitely. It means I need to continue on this path because I'm impacting someone. Hello. You know what I'm saying? Period. Yeah. Jesus here, post on the corner with yours truly, Incognito and DJ Mrs. Yeah. Mrs. His sign is a scale. Hello. Yeah, Happy me. belated birthday. Happy belated birthday. Thank How you did you me. enjoy it? <laughs> yeah. How did I enjoy my birthday? I did um I did a um snowball yeah. gala. Um, for my nonprofit, raised over a uh, half a million dollars. Come on, um, for inner city kids, mm-hmm. and brought the, me- the the most elite uh, people out in Atlanta, and it was really like, it was dope seeing you know people you know donate money, people being there for the cause. Matter of fact, shout out to my brother Will Packer for hosting it. Mm-hmm. He killed it, man. He had us dying laughing all <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> all night. And it was just a great experience, man. And that's that's why I'm at with it. You know, for my birthday, I, I don't, you know, I don't need anything. So I'd rather take that time and energy and put it on someone else. So raising money uh, for my nonprofit was like, that, that was it for that me. Felt good. Yeah, that felt good. I, thought, I told you, Leapers is the real yeah, we ones. Different, right? yeah, 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 we different, right? Yeah, we different. <laughs> yeah, we, we, no, we different for sure. No, definitely. Yeah, we, we cut. We cut different. So explain to us your transition from being Jeezy the artist, the mm. trapper, to Jeezy the mogul. Uh, again, mindset. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When you come from where I come from, you know. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you it, it, you just, you got to have the mindset of, like, this is what I want to do in life. This is what I want to do with my time on this earth. When I leave, what do I want people to remember about me? Mm. And that I was relentless. And that everything they told me I couldn't do, I was going to find a way to do it. Mm. But then I was going to do it with class, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. I wasn't going to be, you know, I was going to do it my way. And, and that's what I love about, you know, this game and, and about, you know, this city. You can do whatever it is you want to do as long as you apply yourself and you don't let up. So for me, music was my talent, still is, but business has always been my passion. Mm. So when I when I understood that this is something I really wanted to do business, my mindset set switched to like, then you 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 got to get out here and learn because now you got to start from scratch, and you're not gonna just be able to walk into these rooms and do these deals if you don't have the knowledge of the data, or the people around you that can get it done. So I just started having different conversations outside of my comfort zone. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't easy, you know, being in the room and you're not the smartest person. I'm used to being like the smart guy. Right. You know what I mean? So it took a lot of you know. It, I humbled myself, but I learned a lot. I learned a lot, and and obviously it changed my life. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Yeah. What's something that most people get wrong about you? Oh man, it's a lot. <laughs> 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 no, I just think that I think they get wrong that I care about what they think about my decisions I make about mm. me because. It's almost like when you're appointed to be the people's champ or the spokesperson, you got to live in those par- parameters. But the reality is I'm a disruptor. That's who I am by nature. So I can't do the normal because if I don't push the boundaries, then we're all going to be stuck as far as I'm concerned. Right. So I got to go out here and do things that you might not like, that you might not understand today. Mm. But in 10 years, you're going to be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying so. That's what I think people got misconstrued about me because it's like at one point I did, but I don't anymore because all bets are off. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's no there. There is nothing that you can do or say to make me think that if I sat down and thought about something and I went with what was in my heart that I was wrong. Win, lose, or draw. You know what I'm saying? If I win, I'm accept that. If I lose, I'm accept that. I made a decision. I'm gonna stand on that. You know what I mean? But that's that's what I think. Because I, you know, I hear sometimes people be like, yo, why you do that? Because like, that's what I needed to do. Right. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? That's what I needed to do. You know, I'm not going to tell you how to handle your, you know, but that's what I need to do. I know that's right. So, you know, music changes. Every time we look up, it's something new. But how do you feel about the current state of hip-hop right now? I mean, I love it. 
I mean, I, I love the music. Mm-hmm. I, I love um, what they're doing um, as far as their business. Yeah. Because they're, they, you know, it's like it's the difference between Michael Jordan and LeBron. Mm-hmm. It's just like they're getting a different type of money, but you, they, but they took those type of chances. Right. You know, and we we would have told them they was crazy. You know what I mean? If they told us the way they was going to do it, you're like, you can't do it that way. But they did. Mm-hmm. So now we all believe it. So right. I respect that. But at the same time, I just want everybody to be alive to see it and spend it and enjoy it and pass it on to their kids. You know what I'm saying? That's the part I just kind of can't wrap my brain around. Cause it's just like, damn, like, you know, Nipsey Hussle, right. and Bang Row Fresh, yes. and, you know, this one and that. You're like, damn, like, you know, Dolph. Like, they imagine that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Last time I saw Dolph, he was in great spirits. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's just like these people got kids and families and people to depend on them and they ain't out here doing nothing crazy. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you know, that's the part that I can't wrap my brain around. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. But I love the music. Yeah. You know what I mean? So how do you uh, protect your peace in this industry with you being in it for so long? Mm. How are you protecting your peace and your mindset and your space? Man, you just can't, you just can't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Flat out. <laughs> you just cannot. You cannot. You know what I mean? You got to just, and, and you got to move how you move. I, one thing I love about being from the street, for real, I understand it. So mm-hmm. I, I I mind my business and I stay out the way. And I get to, you know, I get to my paper and make sure my people straight. Like I don't indulge in things that don't, that used to serve me because they, do, they no longer serve me. Right. I don't even want to put myself in that position right. or that predicament. Mm-hmm. I've been there before. People laugh at you when you fall off. Cause you, cause you don't got, you know, caught up or locked up or this or that. It's funny, you know what I'm saying? It's just like at the end of the day, you know, I know I want to work this hard to just give it back. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's how I just move how I move. You know what I mean? Definitely. He can whip it with a blindfold on. I swear, God. Here. I swear to God. What's on the corner with yours, truly <laughs> incognito and DJ misses? What's something you're most proud of? Oh man, proud of. Great question. I'm proud of. The fact that I took risk that normally people wouldn't take, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because I've been told you can't do this or you can't do that by even close people, family members, and I'm and I'm I'm proud of the fact that I I took those risks. I remember being in the studio with Trick Daddy and Jazzy Faye, and I let them hear Trap or Die while well, Streets is watching, and I'm like, yo, I'm putting this out as a mixtape. It's like, why would you do that? I said, not only that, I'm gonna give it away. He told me it was the dumbest thing ever. Told me not to do it. I walked out of the room. I said, I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. Changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> Changed our lives. Come on. Man. I love it. <laughs> Changed my life. But imagine if I didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm proud of that. Yeah, I'm proud of that. And what does it feel like to know that, like, I got hits that stick like grits, okay? Okay. That's I ain't, a, never, I ain't <laughs> never heard that one. Yeah, you <laughs> got hits that's 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 pretty, that's that stick like grits. Right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to uh, know, like, damn near every time you drop something, it's more than two classics on me. Right. What's that feeling like? I just love the fact that it's timeless. You know what I'm yes. saying? Because they say your artist is supposed to live, you know, way past you. Mm-hmm. And and it's it's only a few of us that really have um a contribution to the game that's this timeless. Like I love Tupac. He he's one of the greatest to me. Like he taught mm-hmm. me so much through his music. I never even met him. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But his music just taught me so much. And even when I find myself kind of wavering off and kind of getting off my square i go back and i i have a whole day in the gym i'm on number park but i'm catching the gym so for me it's just like having timeless music is the goal you Definitely. know what i'm saying i don't ever want to be a part of a trend or a fad or something that just happened because you gotta think when i came out it was snap music and yeah and everybody was crunk you know what i mean and my music was so slow and you know people were saying like you need to make stuff like this you know had i made music like that i don't think i would have made timeless. timeless right so for me that's the biggest part just like knowing that you know even now trap or die can make somebody feel you know away like make somebody get out of their house and go get on their grind like that's that's beautiful it is we yeah. watch you evolve mentally spiritually and most importantly physically and you just alluded to working out in the right. gym do you prefer to work out at home or in the gym well i have a gym at home <laughs> but, but I, i'll do both you know what I'm saying? If I need to, you know, push myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get in with a, my trainer or whatever. But I'm going to be honest with you. Like, that's a big part of taking care of your star player. You know what I'm saying? Mental health is real. And yeah. that starts with how you take care of yourself. 
You know what I'm saying? That's real, bro. Like, if I can give you any type of game, just take care of you first. Because then you can go deal with the world. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't on point and you out here and you doing things and you're not taking care of you, you got to know probably, you know, more than half of the decisions you're making for you and your people are wrong. Because mm -hmm. you're not thinking with a clear head. Even for your team, you're just saying things, you know, that you think, but you don't really feel that. You don't really know. You're not even at 100% yourself. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I would definitely think that. I mean, after all the crystal and all the, all the Patron <laughs> how nice I had, I had to start taking care of me, bro, because it was like, boy, I was making some bad decisions. You feel me? Right. <laughs> Straight up. So besides taking care of yourself, what advice do you have for the younger generation that's coming in the game right now, something that you wish you knew? Oh, man, just really – um. Just surround yourself with people that are smarter than you, for sure. And, um, you know, just keep your values and your morals and your integrity in check, you know what I'm saying? Because it's it's easy to get caught up in this, you know what right. I'm saying? And, and just never lose track of where you came from, mm. you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, like like my, my, my homegirls just tell me all the time, like, boy, you know, you can always go back. You know, if you, you, ain't, you ain't handling your business right, you can always be back where you started. You don't want that. Right. It happen. It can happen for sure. Definitely. So yeah. how do you find balance with family life, rap life, business life? Like, how do you get that balance? And was it difficult for you to get there? Of course, you know, you just had to learn how to understand it. But I just feel like, you know, I do what I do and I love it. I'm going to yeah. beat the streets. That's, that's who I am. Mm -hmm. But when I'm with my peoples, I'm I'm very intentional and I'm very present. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm there. I'm not trying to, you know, I got to shut my phone off. You know, I got to shut it down. It's time for me to, you know, kick it with my people. So it's just right. like, you have to be intentional. You have to be present. Because you can be there and not be there. True. You, you, your mind is somewhere else. So mm -hmm. that's that's me. I'm just going to be intentional. I'm going to be present. And I'm just going to have to shut everything down. And then when it's done, I get back to it. Yeah. Snowfall is available on all digital streaming platforms. Right now. Mr. Consistent right here. He yeah. here. Yes, if you had to create a Mount Rushmore of all your albums, just four of them, though. Right. Which four are you going for? Uh, Trap or Die. Of course. Uh, Thug Motivation 101. Um, the Recession. And... Would be out of 103 in the inspiration. Yeah. That's the governor, he made Georgia look good. Let me Georgia look good. <laughs> <laughs> Come Shout on out with. to Stacey Abrams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeezy's here. Yeah. Who's someone in your phone that you could uh, lean on as far as like just be vulnerable with in this industry? You know, just be transparent. Like, hey, you know, what you feel about this? Mm. Man, I got a I got a big list, but who I really found myself like kind of just chopping it up with on just a business tip. And he just, you know, we and it's crazy because you would think we would talk religion all the time. It's T.D. Jakes. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Because he's, he's a great businessman. I don't think people know that. Like, we we, we chop it up, though. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, he's dope. If you had the power to change anything about this industry, what would it be? Uh, I would definitely want to take the middleman out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I just feel like it's your art. And um, definitely, like, bad lawyers, mm. bad management. Um, and just putting in a space where people can really benefit um, from the from from their hard work mm -hmm. in a way that they're not taking advantage of. Because I think that's what it is. It's just like you know, when you're dealing with people that are just a little bit smarter than you because they've been doing it longer, there's all type of ways to you know teach you out of this or teach you out of that, and it's just like. You were hard for that, you know. Nobody's in the studio all the miles away from their family and their people, and you know what I'm saying. It's, it's it's not light work. And by the way, being a rapper is like one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. You know, Literally. you, gotta, you, no, you come real. out better going to the war in Ukraine right now. You know what I'm saying? It's going down. It is. Um, so when you risk it all like that, you know, you just want to be treated fairly. You know what I'm saying? For right. sure. Explain to us, Jeezy, the father, oh. father of four. Man, no, not four. Huh. No. <laughs> Only three. Oh, father, let's clear three. that up. I seen that. No, let me clear that up though, because I saw that on uh, uh, uh what's it? Google. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I only have three kids. Okay. I don't know who this Tavon kid is. They need to figure it out because he ain't know my taxes. I'm gonna tell you that right Hello? now. Hello. Okay. <laughs> clear that up real quick. Yeah, I only have three kids. Three babies. All right. That's belong it. to Jeezy. That's it. Um, no, nah, I mean it's, it's it's love, man. My you know my my kids, what I do it for. You know what I'm saying? I, I just always want them to be proud. 
and to know that, you know, their father was a good man. You know, when you look back at uh, Malcolm X kids, and Martin Luther King, and like, you know, even Bob Marley, when you think about it, like he's a great man, you know, mm. he stood for something. And that's, that's what them, I always want them to understand about me. It's just like, you know, no matter how this ends out, your dad stood for something. You know what I'm right. saying? The people, it was it was for the cause. Um, it was for it, it was for the slums. It was mm -hmm. for the have-nots and the uh, and the people that was demonized. Like I, I stand for that, and, and and they gotta see that. Even though it's a different form of what I do, you know, we all speak. You know, Malcolm X spoke. Martin Luther King speaks. This one speaks. You know, you know Mar Bob Marley talked peace throughout the whole world. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And even when I went to Jamaica. I just seen the love they have for him, you know, right. and his kids and his family gotta be proud. But I just wanna, you know, when it's all said and done, for my kids to remember me like the father that did everything he had to do for them and he could do, but at the same time, he was a stand up guy. He was a solid man. Yeah. That's dope. So, yeah. what else are you working on that you could tell us about? Oh, wow, that's even better. Snowfall. <laughs> 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 out right now, um, CTE, mm -hmm. Kraken. Uh, Shout out to Haiti Baby. Uh, we just signed Haiti Baby to Dev Jam and CTE. He's out of um, out of the Bay, um, Stockton, uh, California. Crazy superstar. Mm. Um, we got this this nod going. So I have. I know all you know. I had Avion Tequila, but I sold my shares in that mm -hmm. and moved on to Nod. So we have um, Cognac. Uh, we have vodka. We have gin. Mm -hmm. I have my Defiance Fuel Water. Um, that I'm doing. Shout out to Agency 99, which is my ma management company, which is a lot of people you see over there. Mm -hmm. um, they work with my management company, so we manage other artists, other brands, uh, you name it. And um, you know, I just been really heavy on my real estate game. Like that's that's my 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 thing. And for me, it's just like you know, I really believe in diversi diversifying um, your portfolio for sure. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, it's just like there's no expiration date on getting this paper. <laughs> okay. you know what I'm saying? That's a fact. You don't supposed to stop. You feel me? So, what do you look for in an artist? In an artist, I just, I, like for me, it's just like if you have a vision. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have a vision because it's hard to sign with someone and you don't know what it is that you want to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or that you expect because then there's expectations that we're not clear about. So having a vision having your own movement, really having your city, because that's the hardest part. Like, whatever city you're from, people got to really be rocking with you. You know what I'm saying? And just also um, knowing what your sound is, mm -hmm. like having your own sound, whether that's your own producer, uh, whether that's, you know, whatever that is. But check us out. If you got you got new music, DM it to us, CTE.NewWorld. Instagram, holla at your boy. Mm -hmm. Holla at Superstar a and uh, Young Trey. He ready. Let's get it. I know that's right. Jesus here, posting on the corner with yours truly, Incognito and DJ Misses. If you ever have a spare time, are you watching a television show or watching a movie? Man, I got. You know what's crazy? I started watching this Dahmer, this Jeffrey Dahmer, and I got up through about two episodes. I was like, hell no. Couldn't do it. <laughs> I didn't even <laughs> start it yet. I'm like, I can't sit there and watch this. Yeah, that's crazy. I thought it was a documentary. Mm -mm. Like they was going to just document stuff. It was like they was reenacting. I'm like, man, this is crazy. And you know the families didn't agree to any of yeah, that being put that's, out that's there. That's all bad. Yeah, that's all bad, man. That's For all sure. bad. But uh, yeah, I started on that one. But I, but you know, I'm a narcos kind of guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah I watch I watch narcos over and over and over <laughs> and over again. Like I can I can almost you get me on TikTok. I can reenact all that shit. <laughs> do you have a TikTok? I do not. <laughs> I can that so, all that. <laughs> so if you could go back in time and talk to your younger self, what advice would this you give yourself? This is a yourself? great interview. God damn, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. I got back the letter. They ain't playing. Everybody else <laughs> in it. Everybody else like, when the album come out again? Okay, cool. Yeah, I got you. Now nah, you can. You come to post it on the corner. We said we celebrate and we want to know what's it. going on. Talk to me. So if you could go back in time and give your younger self advice, what would you tell your younger self? Wow, man, really cherish and appreciate your relationships, your relationships, like nurture them because we're all not going anywhere on this world. We're going to be here mm -hmm. in 10 years. These people may be somebody you never even imagined they would be. And they're going to be in great positions of power and they're going to remember how you handled them in the beginning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And not just that, it's just being a solid person. Your reputation exceeds you. You know what I'm saying? And just always, I would tell my younger self, 
always stay solid because you want your reputation to be consistent. Yeah. You want people to know that you are a man of your word and that you're somebody that they can depend on. Mm. You know what I'm saying? No matter what. You know, even if you're at odds. And and that's real because just like a lot of people that I had a lot of love for, you know, I didn't nurture those relationships. You know what I'm saying? Like I knew LeBron before anybody knew him. I met LeBron with Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. And he was just like, geez, he called me. Like, I didn't even, like, I'm a street guy. I'm like, I ain't calling nobody back. I ain't <laughs> talking to nobody. I'm real, man. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, you know, and, you know, when you see these people, like, yeah, man, you my God, I love you. You know, I never heard that from another person. <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? I'm coming from the street. So when you say that to me, I'm like, nah. You know, I'm like feeling like there's an ulterior motive, but there's not. Mm-hmm. And um, I just wish I knew that earlier, but I've been doing the best I can to read, you know, rekindle those relationships and let people know, you know, my mindset is I'm in a different place, bro. Like we can actually have this conversation. You know what I'm saying? Right. We can actually do dinner now. Right. We'll pull up. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know, at first like you ain't never come to my house. You know, right. But, now, but like, I want you to up. explain to the younger generation also like how important it is to grow and it's okay to grow. Yeah, Cause a lot of people stay stuck and stagnant in their yeah. ways. But you got to look at it, baby. It's like a tree. If you ain't growing, you're dying. It's right reality, on. you know what I mean? You, you. That's why you're here. You, you, you're put on this earth to become the best version of yourself, right. whatever that means to you. And if you don't do that, you're just missing out on life. Mm-hmm. Like you're just wasting your time and everybody's time around you. And that's the reality of it, you know what I'm saying? And then also you got to know that it's okay to grow. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. cool. <laughs> you know yeah, like, it's cool nobody, to do it. Right? <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't like lame like it used to be. You know what I'm saying? You know, you come, you come, they like, oh, that's smart. We ain't talking to him. You know, you be on the school bus, you know more than everybody else. Nobody wants to sit by you. Like, yo, you weird. Yeah. <laughs> but it's cool to know stuff now. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And I and I and I love that about life is like, like, wow, like, you know, you can really learn. I mean, and by the way, it ain't what you learn, it's how you learn. Like, you ain't nobody telling you to go read a thousand books. But you might just want to talk to somebody you respect. It might even be what you, if you're in fashion, like talk to somebody who does fashion. You know what I'm saying? If you're into, you know, doing the radio, like talk to somebody like a Steve Harvey and kind of get the game away yet. So, you know, when you start making your moves, you know how to play it. Because now right. you want to syndicate, you want to do all these things because you got to, you know, do something that's never been done before. But like, just think about that though. Mm-hmm. Like if Steve would have just stayed where he was at and just did it regular. Like, he, he wouldn't be doing all the things he's doing now. But what I'm saying, he had to learn that from somebody. Mm-hmm. He didn't know all that. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, if you want to be the best, you, you got to be open to learning. If you want to be great at what you do, you got to be open to learning. That's just it. And if you want to if you want to live a life of abundance, what I call you want this real stuff you really want, you know what I'm saying, you, you, you got to be open to evolving. You're not going to get that in your comfort zone. There's no way that you're going to have the things that you want in life. In your comfort zone, unless that's all you want. Right. Now, that's a whole different conversation that I don't really want to get into because yeah. I don't want just that. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So that's me. Definitely. Man, Snowfall available on all digital streaming platforms. Uh, we're getting ready to wrap up, but in closing, your catalog is Amazing. Wide. Yes. What was the record that you had the most fun recording ever? Okay. Two. Well, three. Yeah, two. And it's not in my catalog, it's in other people's catalog. And I did these two on the same day. I'll never forget. I did They Know with Shorty Red. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to do me for Rocco. I did them in the same session. I'll never forget. What? And then this record I got called uh, Done It All, Air Forces 2. Strip Club. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was like, I couldn't believe I wrote that. That was one of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. But Snowfall Live right now, yes. y'all go get that. I don't came back to Atlanta. These folks them digged up my discography. They, they going in over here, boy. It's, it's real. <laughs> you know that? I mean, the platform is always right. open. We appreciate you, brother. Yes, I love, baby. Always. Appreciate y'all. DJ Misses, we got the husband, the father, mm. the snowman. The yeah. mogul. Yeah, he brought the numbers to the game. Yes, Hello? Sir. Come on, he ain't stopped. <laughs> Snowfall, baby. baby. Now, Jesus! Yes. On the corner, on the corner, on the corner, on the corner.